And on the other hand, we have uh, Bayonetta and um, Lucina, and the, probably the pick which surprises me the most because I wasn't even aware that he can had a Lucina. Very nice transition. Top notch work. Anyway, um, so the Mario Brothers in red uh, and the fire costumes against uh, the witch and the princess, I guess. Okay. Probably that she might have some trouble when uh, in the neutral games she might get uh, walled out by uh, Bayonetta's long limbs and uh, Lucina's sword. And he cannot quite covering uh, his mate's Bayonetta combo. Probably wasn't expecting uh, Mario to be able to interrupt it, but uh, still, something to keep an eye out for. Red Team being extremely aggressive with the roll at the edge. What the hell? It's been like one minute and they're already done that twice. Now you can see Blue Team. <laughs> Blue Team is not even going in. Like, uh, they know their characters are not the best in terms of approaches. Oh no, this definitely could have been a stop with a charge up smash or something like that. But not to worry. Still got stage control. Oh, this might be it. Oh, again, just a bad throw. And there's a shield break. Yeah, too bad. He can uh, at least have the time uh, to uh, get his shield up and not get uh, forward smashed himself. And Fila only has his first stock and 80%. We've seen him uh, a bit earlier going for a jab jab a B, which as far as I know is not true in any... Yeah, just like that, not true in any universe ever, but uh, still shows that... Uh, oh, okay, here it goes. Still shows, that, as I was saying, that he's uh, willing to go for it and deepen the, the lead Red Team already has. Only overcommitting a little with this uh, Bayonetta combo after hitting the shield. Ah, poor punish on the hit and spot. It's been twice already that uh, he went for an up tilt when an up smash or forward smash definitely could have taken a start. Okay, but one of Lucina's strengths is actually playing out right now. Cornering the brothers at the edge. Oh, wow! <laughs> if this was intentional, that was hilarious. I don't think it was. Probably a, a missed show you can, but uh, with a small lead to have, the red team actually could go for things like that. Even Luigi gets his, his passive bonuses when he get the uh, get weird kills. Uh, you can see Gila not having uh, much to do with Mario with Bayonetta on stage. Obviously not going to try and edge guard her, and not able either to help his mates. Is the Lucina who is already off stage herself. And we have a combo breaker from Gila, very aware. Uh, as he was not caught in the combo at the same time and same uh, spacing as uh, Fila was, um, he was able to combo break out of it with an FB and kill Bayonetta, with, who had like 190 uh, percent. So even though Red Team still has a lead, it's basically the same that it was at the first stock, with uh, Fila being at two stock. Uh, 20%. Scary situation. Oh, this thing gets it. He can go in for the row up smashing neutral. And the, uh, the hitbox comes from Fida and sends it towards the heaven. Again, Chida trying to save his brother from uh, Bayonetta's combo. But this time, not managing to hit her. Very situation. Blue team does not have such control at all. He can unable to go help Lonely at the edge. Oh! <laughs> Let's not talk about how uh, voluntary or not that footstool was. It was still a very cute conversion and uh, reactivity from uh, from Fila with his Luigi F smash. It's tough, but it's doable. If if he can can somehow. Keep at least one of them uh, off stage or recovering with any move, really. It might even be ju just be jab one, two. He'll be able to avoid the other guy uh, kill attempt. Oh. oh, there's so much spaghetti going on. 
if red team loses this, it'll be understandably upset. Okay, double jump is still here on Econ. Needs to mix it up. It's been really jumping a lot. Oh, very cute with the jab jab. And uh, Gila was there to cover the landing. Like, Fila wasn't ready to go for uh, one of his own uh, jab jab consults to kill Moon, uh, which didn't pay out all that well in the rest of the set. Uh, game, but uh, Gira was there, ready to punish the landing back with a very nice, uh, cheaper forward smash. Okay, nothing here. Uh, nothing trouble in chat. That's perfect, that's what we want. So, red team with lead, betting battlefield, and I'm not sure. I'm trying to relay the information to you guys. Still surprised about the Lucina peak, but uh, it wasn't too bad, really. Just a, a couple of missed opportunities. Definitely could have gone for uh, up smashes where up tilts were thrown and uh, thus uh, thinning stocks that were left. So altogether, if, if somehow uh, Green Team is able to be a little more precise in the game, perhaps going a, some more uh, team combos going on, even though they were doing just fine on their own with, uh, with uh, Bayonetta's combo. Oh, okay, that's a switch. Lonely going for his other main, dropping the Bayonetta for the Green Ninja. Interesting pick actually for a team because uh, I'm not sure which one of them is going to be able or would have to uh, go in, you know, uh, provide the offense. But they both will fit perfectly the role of uh, supplying the back and forth aerials with the uh, forwarders from uh, both characters and the kill forwards with forward smash and uh, aerials of stage. But even though the team does have potential, in my opinion, it's just not looking like that. In fact, Fila with only 19%, while blue team is nearly uh, with a one stock deficit on each of its members. You can see blue team having so much trouble dealing with red team's aggression. Like, they can deal with Luigi somehow, but when uh, Gila goes in with Mario and uh, Lomi chooses to jump over him while he can stay in shield, they just don't know how to react to the aggression. Red team with a stage control. And finally, they get it, the grab to sure you can, even though they get punished, it was well worth it because it was a very strong kill move that. Uh, Lomi was unable to prevent. Oh, uh, he can, sorry. And again, oh, misses the combo, that's too bad. You can see that uh, the forward tilt pick uh, on Gila's part to combo was actually well thought out. He wanted to create a back and forth situation instead of going for up tilts. Uh, but uh, I'm not choosing the right option, sadly. Okay, the up throw we finally takes Fujita's first stock. Fujita doing work with this jab. This is scary. Yeah. Uh, I, actually, in Jila's space, I wouldn't even go, have gone for the jab because with Lonnie right behind me, I would have been afraid to get caught in some silly smash move game. So close to the blast zone. Fujita gets the up smash. And Lonely might follow him very early. Okay, this forward smash, I'm not sure was destined to hit, uh, was supposed to hit uh, Lonely, but it didn't in the end. So. Red team with a small lead. Again, basically the same lead they've had the full set, with a um, uh, half a stock lead. Nothing undoable to say, but Blue team, Blue team uh, is not making things happen. They're playing fine, 
but they're not playing fine together, so it's actually worse than if they did, if they were at least a, a correct team, they're just correct players. And yeah, the follow up this time, nope, just a bit late, but gets the, uh, obviously the frame trap on Luigi's horrendous landing options. Again, the grab to show you can, not much you can do, and again. I think it, it's a decent option, you know? Like, you'll probably get punished for it, but if you kill the other guy at 60... Eh. So... Very nice set from uh, the Montpellier brothers. Uh, even though Gila did not go from uh, for uh, one of his uh, mains, he probably went for his doubles character, because it did seem like some stuff were polished, like saving his mate in Bayonetta's combos, uh, trying to initiate some uh, some back and forces with a forward tilt instead of a down or up tilt. Uh, 